Namaste. Namaste, friends. Welcome to day nine. Let's take a deep breath. Let's come into a silent space and shout the mantra arm together. Deep breath. Today's mantra is very dear to my heart because it's the mantra that appears on George Harrison's great song, My Sweet Lord. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. My sweet Lord. Mm-hmm. This means the Guru is Brahma, the creator, the Guru is Vishnu, the sustainer, the Guru is Shiva, the destroyer of the ego, the Guru is truly the supreme and salutations to that Guru. This is the first verse of the Guru Gita, which is part of the Hindu scripture, the Skanda Purana. The Guru Gita is the conversation between Lord Shiva and his consort Parvati, as he explains to her what the Guru is, how to worship the Guru, the qualities of the Guru. And in itself, the Guru Gita is a means of transformation. Chanting the Guru Gita We immerse ourselves into that devotion, into the recognition of the guiding lights, which is what the gurus are. Before I came to my personal guru, Osho, I definitely had the wrong idea of what the relationship was between a guru and a disciple. My preconception was that it was one of master-slave. I was so wrong but I had to experience the truth of that. In fact, the guru is not there as a personality. It's a very mysterious connection, and one that is not easy to explain, especially in this context. I want to encourage you to see the guru in so many different facets of life. It could be any teacher. It could be a tree. It could be nature. It could be a flower first thing in the morning that reminds you of the perspective of just how special you are and at the same time connected to every living thing, every star, every grass leaf. The guru-disciple relationship is really as mysterious as chanting mantra or meditation. It's something that we have to experience to understand And it's not something that can be explained. And it definitely can look pretty strange from the outside. Mm. The Guru challenges us to look strange in the eyes of the world. And so does mantra practice. So let's close our eyes and have a moment to tune into the sound vibration of the word Guru where we can leave the concepts that we have around this word, but just feel the word guru inside. It means that which dispels the darkness. What does it feel like inside the word guru? An ancient sound is very powerful. We can embark on this journey of the mantra that honors the trinity of Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the sustainer, and Shiva, the destroyer of illusion. This is the cycle of creation. And the Guru is the guiding light that points the way.
As we travel on our journey, we realize that the path only leads within.
Take a deep breath. And gratitude to the guiding lights in our lives. I want to encourage you to look up George Harrison's song. It's a great celebration. It's a great celebration of the guru, my sweet Lord. And dance and celebrate with a great musician, great spirit. <laughs> the destroyer of illusion, the destroyer of the ego. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, Shanti.